Welcome back Jinjis to a new video. A lot of you keep asking on what settings I play. So let's check them out together. Let's get right into it. 65% of you isn't subscribed yet. So what are you waiting for? Go subscribe right now. I'm watching you. Did you subscribe? All right, enjoy the video. Some of you might think, why would I copy your settings when I can copy simple his settings or dunk his settings? Obviously, I'm better than both of them. Jokes aside, I'm not using a billion dollar PC like most of these pros are. Meaning that if these settings work for me, they might work for you as well. And if they don't you always have the possibility to ask me questions through my comments or through my discord i mean i don't think you're gonna get in contact with simple pretty quickly enough waffling let's get into the settings first off obviously you have to launch the game and go towards the settings menu let's start with the video settings so for display i'm using my main monitor and for display mode i'm using full screen recently she has added full screen window which is way better for all tabbing but i just don't like using it for aspect ratio i'm using 4x3 which is actually not true because i'm using 5 by 4 but for some reason it displays as 4 by 3 before this i used to play 1280 960 but i swapped to 1280 1024 because it just feels more comfortable to me eventually that is what's most important not that 90 percent of the pros use the same resolution but just what feels good for you and what do you perform best on i mean there's not a lot of pros that play 1280 1024 but look how i'm playing i'm playing the best i've ever played in my whole life just because it feels comfortable to me i used to have insane off days off weeks and now it just feels natural to me so which resolution should you use well there's no clear answer try out different ones and see which one fits best for you moving on to refresh rate it's very important that you put this at the highest possible option don't want to pay for a 240 hertz monitor and only use 60 and then for brightness i'm using 100 percent which translates to the command r full screen gamma 2.007451 i'll also put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it moving on to advanced video boost player contrast makes models stand out better in low contrast environments disabled because for some reason this gives me insane input lag vsync obviously turn this shit off it's fucking garbage never turn this on and video reflex low latency what this does is it uses fps to reduce your latency in game now same reason as boost player contrast i have this turned off because i feel like this gives me a lot of input lag now if you're really having latency problems you can turn this on but i wouldn't recommend turning on enabled plus boost just turn it on to enabled maximum fps in game i have on zero and maximum fps in menu i have on 240 if your fps is feeling really unstable you can turn this up to a little bit above your hertz meaning if you're using 240 hertz you can turn your fps max to 300 for multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode i have 8 msa i've also seen people use 4 msa but i'm gonna stick with 8 because this feels best to me and it gives me the best performance that's why i've been using it for fucking years global shadow quality very important is that you turn this up to high why is this so important well seeing shadows in cs can give you an insane advantage and why wouldn't you want that if you turn this setting to low then these shadows won't be that visible there's also no reason to go very high because then you're just draining fps for no reason so for global shadow quality just stick to high another important setting dynamic shadows turn this up to all and not sun only if you turn this to sun only it will only display shadows that are being cast by the sun of course if you're playing nuke for example and you're inside you also want to see the shadows emitted by the light of the vending machines so very important not sun only turn this up to all model texture detail i have on low and i've never seen a reason to go higher than low so low it is texture filtering mode i have on billionaire and i've been using this since i started playing see as it works best for me so i'm not fucking changing it shader detail i have on low there's just no reason to put it higher particle detail i have on low as well ambient occlusion i have on disabled i see no reason to turn this on high dynamic range i have on quality i've been using this since the release of cs2 this is what gives me the best performance and feels best so i'm sticking with it lastly very important fidelity fx super resolution turn this up to disabled highest quality because if you don't your game will look pretty blurry moving on to the audio settings now before we get into the audio settings i want you to know that i'm using a logitech g pro x wireless light speed holy shit that's a mouthful and that is what she said <laughs> 
I have some settings specifically for this headset because if I'm not using these, well, then they sound pretty shit. So in the Logitech G Hub software, I'm using this specific advanced EQ. And if you go to sound and you go to advanced sound settings, if you click on the headset and go to advanced for default format, I have 16 bit 32,000 HZ or FM radio quality. If I use anything else, this headset sounds like fucking garbage. My master volume is on 100% and I'm using 35 volume on Windows. EQ profile is on natural, LR isolation is on 0% and perspective correction is on no. These audio settings might be a little bit overwhelming and might look a little bit weird, but trust me, I can hear everything i can even hear you you're breathing right now you can change this up a little bit according to your device i think most important is just that you turn perspective correction to no because for some reason if you turn it to yes you hear enemies on the left when they're on the fucking right for voice i just have everything on default then for music i've turned everything to zero percent yes even the 10 second warning volume i mean i'm the god i don't need a 10 second warning jokes aside i've been playing like this for a really long time and i really don't need the 10 second warning i'm pretty used to just going off the sound of the bomb beep, 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 now, if you can play like that or you're a newer player, I would definitely turn this up. The other stuff really isn't that important. It's just random sounds that doesn't add anything to the competitiveness of the game. And then for game mode IQ, I just have everything on default. Moving on to game. First off, max acceptable matchmaking ping, I have turned to 25. Under here, you can see a list with all the servers you can connect to and how much MS they have. I think a good range is in between 25 and 50. Max acceptable game traffic bandwidth, I have turned to unrestricted. Buffering to smooth over packet loss slash jitter, you have to turn to none. Unless you're really having packet loss problems, maybe you can turn it to one tick, but never turn it to two ticks. Moving on to HUD, which is mostly personal preference. My HUD skill is 0.90 and my HUD color is bright white. Theme is pretty much default for me. Communication is pretty default as well. The only thing I turned off is allow animated avatars because I think it's a little bit distracting having the animated avatars at the top. Spectator scoreboard default. For item, pretty important. Delay sniper rifle unscope after shot is turned to no. Auto resume sniper rifle after shot is turned to yes. Detach silencer on M4A1S and USP as is turned on to secondary fire. Don't turn this to disabled. There's a few situations where taking off your silencer actually gives you an advantage. Sometimes, for example, when you're hiding in a corner, your silencer will stick out and the enemy will see you. When you take off the silencer, they can't see it and you're more hidden. You don't need to take off your silencer, but at least give yourself the option to. For my view, model position I'm using classic. You can see all the view model commands on screen and I'll also put them in the description so you can just copy paste them. Preferred view model left right handers I'm using right. Now how do you know if you should play right handed or left handed? I'll go into paint and draw a circle. Move back from your screen, make a triangle with your fingers and look through it. Now close your left eye, open it up again and close your right eye. Now one of these two times when you close your eyes the circle will move meaning that that is your dominant eye. If your right eye is dominant you should play left hand if your left eye is dominant you should play right hand so for me my right eye is dominant so i should be playing a left hand but i'm playing right hand just because i've always been playing it and i think it just feels best to me moving on first person traces i have enabled and always show inventory is on yes then for my radar settings everything is turned to yes my radar hood background opacity is 0.63 radar hood size is 0.83 radar map zoom is 0.45 and radar map alternate zoom is one this is something new but if you want you can also force your radar to always be square shape and show the whole map then you just have to turn this to yes but i have it on no here are my crosshair settings but i'll make it more easy for you just click share or import copy the code that i put in the description down below import it here and you'll have my crosshair then the grenade lineup rectal is pretty useful you can use it but i just have keep regular crosshair damage prediction make sure everything is turned off because it's fucking garbage No joke, this will literally ruin your game. It's very important that all of these are turned off. And then lastly, telemetry isn't really that important. Moving on to mouse and keyboard. All of this is going to be personal preference, but I'll still show you my settings. My mouse sensitivity is on 2 and my zoom sensitivity multiplier is on 1. I'm using a Zoe EC1DW with a polling rate of 1000 and a DPI of 400, meaning that my eDPI is 800. Then we've got my keybinds, which again is going to be personal preference but if you want you can pause and 
copy them. One more very important thing is to go to your Windows mouse settings and go to additional mouse settings. Here in your mouse properties, go to pointer options and turn off enhanced pointer precision. Trust me, it will help your aim a lot. That's everything for the in-game settings. Let's move on to the Nvidia settings. For the Nvidia settings, pretty straightforward. Go to adjust image settings with preview, click on use my preference and turn this to performance. If you then go to manage 3D settings, you should have all the settings that I'm using for my Nvidia, but if you want, you can pause and recheck it. Moving on to change resolution, very important is that you put your refresh rate up to the highest refresh rate possible. Then moving on to adjust desktop color settings, here I have digital vibrance on 100%. This will need a little bit of complicated explaining, and I recommend you try this out for yourself. Try turning it to zero and see how much color there is in your screen. Basically, every monitor every screen you see has an added grayness to colors meaning if you add no vibrance to the screen you'll just see grayness if you add 50 percent of vibrance you'll see 50 percent of the colors and 50 percent grayness so if you turn it up to 100 percent you see the full color without added grayness now i do have to add a little warning if you use 100 percent vibrance and you create something like art or something for school for your work and you send it over to another person they will have the added grayness again this happens for example a lot to me when i create a thumbnail for my youtube and send it over to my phone it just shows a totally different color because again there's added grayness to every single screen on planet earth the reason they do this is so it doesn't get eye straining but i've got no problems with my eye straining so 100 percent vibrance it is and lastly go to adjust desktop size and position and turn this to full screen so you play fully stretched and you don't have black bars perform scaling on turn this to gpu override the scaling mode is set by games and programs turn this on and lastly check again if your refresh rate is on the highest possible setting now for those that have a second monitor like me you go to your second monitor and go to perform scaling on and turn this one to display that's everything for nvidia let's head back into the game and check out our loadout so for my ct loadout i'm using usp dual beretta p 257 desert eagle nova xm ump mp9 mp7 famas m4a1s m4a4 ssg and all on this side i'm using glock dual beretta Speed to 50, Tech 9, Desert Eagle, Nova, XM, UMP, Mac 10, MP7, Galil, AK, SG, SSG, and AVP. And that, Gingies, is going to be everything for this video. Hopefully, I was able to help you out. And if you still have questions, don't be scared to ask them in my comments or on my Discord. Most of the time, I respond pretty quickly. If I was able to help you out and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to see when I upload next. That is going to be everything for me, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh my babu. Shin. I like anime titties. <laughs>